Bamidbar chapter 4. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe and to Aharon, saying, Take a census of the sons of Kehath, from among the children of Levi, by their clans, by their father's house, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, all who enter the service to do the work in the tent of appointment. This is the service of the sons of Kehath, in the tent of appointment the most set apart matters. At the breaking of camp, Aharon and his sons shall come, and they shall take down the covering veil, and cover the ark of the witness with it and shall put on it a covering of fine leather, and spread over that an all-blue wrapper, and shall insert its poles. And on the table of showbread they shall spread a blue wrapper, and shall put on it the dishes, and the ladles, and the bowls, and the jars for pouring, and the showbread on it. And they shall spread over them a scarlet wrapper, and cover the same with a covering of fine leather, and shall insert its poles, and shall take a blue wrapper, and cover the lampstand of the light, with its lamps, and its snuffers, and its trays, and all its oil vessels by which they serve it. And they shall put it with all its utensils in a covering of fine leather, and put it on a bar. And over the golden slaughter place they shall spread a blue wrapper, and cover it with a covering of fine leather, and shall insert its poles, and shall take all the utensils of service with which they serve in the set-apart place, and shall put them in a blue wrapper, cover them with a covering of fine leather, and put them on a bar and shall remove the ashes from the slaughter place, and spread a purple wrapper over it, and shall put on it all its utensils by which they serve, the fire holders, the forks, and the shovels, and the basins, and all the utensils of the slaughter place, and shall spread on it a covering of fine leather, and insert its poles. And when Aharon and his sons have finished covering the set-apart objects, and all the furnishings of the set-apart place at the breaking of camp, then the sons of Kehath shall come to lift them, but let them not touch that which is set apart, lest they die. These matters are the burden of the sons of Kehath in the tent of appointment. And the oversight of Elatzar, son of Aharon the priest, is the oil for the light, and the sweet incense, and the daily grain offering, and the anointing oil, and the oversight of all the dwelling place and all that is in it, with the set apart place and its furnishings. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe and to Aharon, saying, Do not cut off the tribe of the clans of the Kehathites from among the Levites. But do this to them, and they shall live and not die when they approach the most set-apart objects. Aharon and his sons shall go in and appoint each of them to his service and his burden. They are not, however, to go in to watch while their set-apart objects are being covered, lest they die. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Take a census also of the sons of Gershon, by their father's house, by their clans. Register them, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old all who enter to perform the service, to do the service in the tent of appointment. This is the service of the clans of the Gershonites, in serving and in bearing burdens. And they shall bear the curtains of the dwelling place, and the tent of appointment with its covering, the covering of fine leather that is on it, the covering for the door of the tent of appointment, and the screens of the courtyard, and the covering for the door of the gate of the courtyard, which is around the dwelling place, and slaughter place, and their cords, all the equipment for their service, and all that is made for them, so shall they serve. At the mouth of Aharon and his sons is all the service of the sons of the Gershonites, all their burden and all their service, and you shall appoint to them all the duty of all their burden. This is the service of the clans of the sons of Gershon in the tent of appointment, and let their duties be under the hand of Itamar, son of Aharon the priest. As for the sons of Merari, register them by their clans and by their father's house, Register them, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, all who enter the service to do the work of the tent of appointment. And this is the duty of their burden, according to all their service for the tent of meeting, the boards of the dwelling place, and its bars, and its columns, and its sockets, and the columns around the courtyard with their sockets, and their pegs, and their cords, with all their equipment and all their service, and assign to each by name the equipment of the duty of their burden. This is the service of the clans of the sons of Merari, as all their service for the tent of appointment, under the hand of Itamar son of Aharon the priest. So Moshe and Aharon and the leaders of the congregation registered the sons of the Kehatites by their clans and by their father's house, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, all who entered the service for the work in the tent of appointment, and their registered ones by their clans were two thousand seven hundred and fifty. These were the registered ones of the clans of the Kehathites, all those serving in the tent of appointment, whom Moshe and Aharon registered according to the mouth of Yahweh by the hand of Moshe.
and those registered ones of the sons of Gershon, by their clans and by their father's house, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, all who entered the service for work in the tent of appointment, the registered ones by their clans, by their father's house, were two thousand six hundred and thirty. These were the registered ones of the clans of the sons of Gershon, of all who serve in the tent of appointment, whom Moshe and Aharon registered according to the mouth of Yahweh, and those of the clans of the sons of Merari, who were registered by their clans, by their father's house, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, all who entered the service for work in the tent of appointment, the registered ones by their clans, were three thousand two hundred. These were the registered ones of the clans of the sons of Merari, whom Moshe and Aharon registered according to the mouth of Yahweh by the hand of Moshe. All the registered ones of the Levites, whom Moshe and Aharon and the leaders of Israel registered by their clans and by their fathers' houses, from thirty years old and above, even to fifty years old, all who came to do the work of service at the work of bearing burdens in the tent of appointment, their registered ones were eight thousand five hundred and eighty. According to the mouth of Yahweh, they were registered by the hand of Moshe, each according to his service and according to his burden. Thus they were registered by him, as Yahweh commanded Moshe.